Hey everybody, it's Miraline, Delicious Delights, and welcome to my channel. So today I want to do something a little different. I came across an article online called 15 Mind-Blowing Perfume Hacks to Make the Most of Your Favorite Fragrance. It's from the stylecraze.com website. I have it on my phone here. And I can link this article down in the description box down there if you guys want to read through the whole thing. Uh, but basically, I want to go through each of these mind-blowing perfume hacks and let you guys know what I think of them. I don't really think that they're mind-blowing, but I do think that some of these are pretty helpful. And yeah, I'll just read some quotes from it. I won't read the whole article. Um, so yeah, let's just begin with uh, the first one here. So number one, to increase the efficiency of the fragrance, make sure you don't keep those bottles in the bathroom. And yes, I would 100% agree with this. I made the mistake a long time ago when I was younger uh, to store my fragrances in the bathroom because I thought it looked pretty there. <laughs> what I did notice over time is that the fragrances changed, uh, the scent changed in a bad way. They started smelling mostly in the top notes, kind of harsh, like chemically and sharp and they just didn't smell the same they didn't smell good anymore and i had to let go of some fragrances so i stopped storing them in the bathroom and now i store them in a cool and dark place in a few closets around the house so yeah uh, that's the first one number two to keep smelling like a goddess for a long time it's a good idea to rub some vaseline on your pulse points before you spray that perfume so i have never tried rubbing Vaseline on my pulse points and then putting fragrances on top. If you guys have tried that, what do you guys think? Does that actually work? Okay, so number three. To reiterate the previous point, you can also use a neutral or fragrance-free lotion on your body before you spray your perfume on. So I know that a lot of people do this. They spray or they put some body lotion first, some unscented body lotion, and then a fragrance on top. Um, I don't do that very often. I have done it in the past, yes. But mostly what I do is just spray it straight from the bottle. I don't really mind um, reapplying a scent over and over and over again if I have to. Uh, but sometimes I have dry skin, especially in the winter time. And so I would just wear lotion anyways. And when I do wear lotion, it's the unscented kind. And then I spray the perfume on top of that. Number four, mind-blowing perfume hack. The best time to spray your perfume is immediately after you are out of your shower and just before you get dressed. Yeah, I do this for sure. So what I've heard about this is that when you're out of the shower, your pores are bigger or they, I don't know how to say it. <laughs> uh, maybe they're more open and then they retain fragrance longer. I'm not really sure how that works or if that's true, but that's what I've heard. Uh, but yeah, I do like spraying fragrance just straight from the shower, just something fresh and clean, maybe a nice citrus scent. I have one here by coincidence that I do like to spray straight from the shower. This is Hermes Le Jardin de Monsieur Lee one of my most favorite citrus scents of all time. And I do like how sharp this feels. The citrus in here is very sharp. And so it's just really such a nice, like uplifting, um, tangy, sweet uh, citrus scent. Uh, so yeah, that's one of my faves. So yeah, another one that I like to spray on after the shower is this one here. Um, I didn't have this for very long, but you can see there's quite a big dent in that one already. It's the Sol de Janeiro Brazilian Crush Charosa 71 Caramelized Vanilla and Macadamia. And basically this smells like uh, caramel popcorn. It smells like coconut as well. And there's like white chocolate and vanilla. One of my absolute dis favorite discoveries of the year and most fun fragrances to wear. Even though it doesn't very uh, last very long, I do just reapply. So yeah, I think it's a good idea to spray perfume on nice, fresh, clean skin. Number five, spraying the cologne on your pulse points emits the best possible fragrance, 
but ensure that you do not dab the perfume on your wrists once you spray. Okay, so yeah, I know there's like this big about like rubbing it in and destroying the molecules and the top notes when you spray on your pulse points and you go like this. I don't do that really. Mostly I just spray it on and just leave it. But for people that do rub it in or even just like dab it lightly and go like this, I don't really think it's a big deal. I don't think that there are like strict rules on how you should wear your fragrance if you want to dab it in like that. I don't think it's a big deal and put it like around your neck there. Just do what makes you happy and what's most comfortable to you. Uh, either way, you'll be smelling great anyways. So yeah, let's move on to the other one. Number six, your pulse points and the warm parts of your body are the best places to spray if you want to smell good for a longer period of time. So I guess here uh, on your wrists, uh, behind your knees as well. I like to spray anywhere. Um, I like spraying in the crook of my arm, uh, inside elbow, because it does get warm there. I also like to spray yeah, I'll just grab this tobacco Vini Tom Ford. I like to spray it like I just go like this and just spray like a few in there because it does get warm around here as well. And so also I get nice like constant whiffs of the scent. If I don't mind um, smelling it all day, then I do that just ch -ch like that. But I guess, yeah, it is mainly recommended that you spray on pulse points, but you know. As I said earlier, I don't think there should be like strict rules. You can spray it anywhere you want, on your clothing, on your coat, any piece of skin that you have. Uh, yeah, I don't think it's really a big deal. <laughs> All right, so number seven. When you don't want to smell too strong and on occasions when you need just a light hint of fragrance, all you need to do is spray some perfume in the air and walk into the mist. Yeah, I don't really do that. I have tried it before. It kind of feels like I'm just wasting my perfume. <laughs> um, like, you know, most of the perfume will just get like lost in the air and not on me. So for me, I just want to spray it directly on me. I don't know. I don't know. Maybe I'll give it a try again. Number eight. Need a quick fix for smelly hair? Your perfume will take care of it. However, spraying an alcohol-based perfume directly into your hair will dry it out. So you could spritz some onto your hairbrush, let it rest, and then run it through your hair. So I do this, yes, I like to spray my comb and then just through my hair, and then there you go, there's a scented um, hair perfume. And you don't have to buy a hair perfume specifically. But there also have been times where I just spray my hair directly. I know that's not recommended, but I do it anyways. You know, I don't know, is it a big deal? <laughs> it gets dried out your hair, um, maybe. Uh, but yeah, it's probably a better idea just to stick with the hairbrush and then uh, letting it sit for a while and then going through your hair, but yeah, I don't do that all the time. Sometimes I just spray my hair and then call it a day. Number nine perfume hack. Know your perfume as well so that you know how to pick your next fragrance. So it goes on about uh, the fragrance oils concentration like uh, EDT, EDP, and the x and you know how x are more potent than an eau de cologne, for example. And it also says here, know about the notes, the top notes, the mid notes, and the base notes, and the top notes evaporate faster. And yeah, so basically how to pick your next fragrance. So for me, what I like to do is I have a bookcase in my living room that I put perfumes in, like I kind of rotate uh, these fragrances so they'll have them there for like a few weeks and then I'll just focus on wearing those for the next uh, weeks or even longer depending on my mood and uh, for example I have a fragrance here that is that was sitting on my bookcase downstairs and then every time I leave the house or at any time when I'm at home I would love to spray this one and this one is one of my favorite discoveries as well of the year and it's from the library of fragrance which is Demeter and it's pineapple. There's a big dent in this one already. 
I absolutely love this scent. Um, it smells very much like a realistic pineapple with the juice and the ripe fruit. And it's very sweet and sugary and it smells so, so literal. So maybe it's a good idea if you're having a hard time deciding what to wear because you have so many perfumes, maybe you can lay out a tray or just some perfumes from your collection, separate them from the rest, and then you can focus on those fragrances for however long you like. And then it's not so overwhelming. Okay, so let's continue with number 10. When your perfume level in the bottle is so low that you can't spray on any more, pour the last bit into your body lotion. Okay, so I think I made a video about this a long time ago where you can make your own scented body lotion, a DIY fragrance lotion. I know that it can get a little weird if you put too much fragrance in there and maybe some of the chemicals or the ingredients might not mesh very well with the lotion, which is why I think you should start off with like a small travel size of an unscented lotion so that if uh, it doesn't work out when you mix them together, then it's not a really big deal rather than using like a huge bottle of um, unscented body lotion and then you put it in, you put some fragrance in there and then it kind of gets ruined. But another thing that you can do is just put like a little bit of lotion that you're going to use just for that day into your hand and then spray some perfume on top of that and then rub it together and then put it all over yourself. Just so that you have more variety, you can change your body lotion scent every single day just based on your mood. Number 11, if you have sprayed a wrong fragrance or don't like the scent you are sampling, use your makeup wipe to get rid of the perfume. So I haven't actually tried this before. When I have come across a fragrance that I needed to get off of me immediately, I usually just use soap and water or I take a shower but I haven't heard of using a makeup wipe. So if you guys have tried that, I would love to hear if that actually works. Number 12, you will know the actual smell of the perfume only when the top notes evaporate. So next time you go sampling, wait for a few minutes before you smell the perfume. There have been many, many times where I go to a store, I spray on a scent and I fall in love with it immediately and then I buy it. <laughs> that has happened with Hypnotic Poison from Dior where I just fell in love right away and I just knew right away that I needed it in my life and also with Paco Rabanne Black Excess. Sprayed the top notes, smelled it, fell in love and bought it right away. So those turned out really good but there have also been times where I sprayed a perfume on and then I love the top notes, but then it starts drying down and then I'm disappointed because I don't like the dry down. Testing is uh, very, very important to do. And you know, then you can decide after you've tested it whether you actually want a bottle rather than just, you know, falling in love at first sniff <laughs> and then regretting it later when, if you don't like the dry down. Number 13. Spray your favorite scent on a tissue paper and leave them in your wardrobe or dresser. This will make the contents smell absolutely amazing. So I don't use a tissue paper and leave them in my wardrobe. I actually use a pillow. And lately I've been spraying the scent that I bought from Christian Dior. So yeah, there is a little bit of a dent in there now. Um, but yeah, I think that's a really nice idea to just spray like a pillow or a tissue or a towel or whatever you want. Uh, spray it with a nice fragrance so that uh, you'll get this nice soft whiff of the fragrance whenever you open your closet. Almost done guys, there's two more to go. Number 14, if you need to touch up your scent and feel that the bottle is too heavy to carry around, just spray some perfume onto a cotton swab and put it in a Ziploc bag and then into your handbag. So I used to do this. I used to have cotton swabs or cotton balls in a Ziploc bag and then spray it a lot. Or I would take the cotton ball and rub it on my skin just to get like a light scent of something. So I don't do this anymore. Uh, I have so many travel sprays that I like to use now. I just leave it in my purse so that whenever I need to touch up my fragrance. I can just spray directly on me with a nice travel spray. But I do think this is a nice idea. Um, 
kind of therapeutic as well. Say if you're bored and you're in line and you're waiting for something or someone, you can just take it out of your bag and smell a nice fragrance. The last mind-blowing perfume hack, number 15. To get a better night's rest, spray some calming fragrance onto your pillow. You are sure to sleep like a baby. So I don't spray my pillow very often. I do spray my bed though, and my bed sheets and my bed linens. So having the fragrance on my pillow and then my face is right on the pillow, it might be too overwhelming or it might be something that I might think about too much when I'm trying to sleep. Uh, but I do like spraying a light scent on my bed and then my whole bed smells amazing. Like for example, an orange scent, I've been doing that lately. And then I'm crawling into bed and then it feels like I'm sleeping in some like orange peels and orange juice and orange candies. I really, really like that. So yeah, that was the last hack or mind blowing perfume hack of the article. Uh, I would love to hear what you guys think about these uh, these hacks, if you want to call it that, in the comments. Uh, thank you so much for tuning in today, and I will see you guys soon in the next video. Take care, guys. Bye-bye.